At Trenbridge, Nottingham, Norman Yardley and Dennis Compton go out to bat against South Africa on the last day of the test. With England 47 runs behind in their second innings, it was up to these two to save the match. Compton sneaks a single to get his first test century of the season. The 29-year-old Middlesex batsman, Arsenal and England footballer, is the first cricketer to get a thousand runs this year. His was a fighting innings, probably the greatest of his career. Dennis Compton played his first test match when he was 19, also scoring a century. With his score at 163, he was caught by Mitchell from a ball by man. His record stand of 237 with his skipper, Norman Yardley, saved England from defeat. The 32-year-old Yorkshireman played a real captain's game. Scoring 99, he had bad luck when he was caught by Tuckett. It was his first test in England after his great Australian performance. Compton and Yardley with Kent Godfrey Evans saved England from a humiliating defeat. At Lord's, the position may be different. Food for Britain. From Australia come these pictures of Devonport schoolchildren bringing their gifts for the mother country. One mile of food is to be placed on the pavements of the Tasmanian town's main street. More than five million food parcels, average weight eight pounds, have been sent in the past 12 months from Australian homes to this country. Mayors of Australian towns, small and large, have organised food drives for Britain. Altogether, the Food Ministry have received 18,000 tonnes of food from the Dominions as a free gift. The calm quiet of Lancashire's Coniston Water disappeared when Sir Malcolm Campbell, here with daughter Jean, gave Bluebird II its first pre-record tryout. Top speed was no more than 100 miles an hour, 40 below the record. The boat's lateral stability is all wrong, Sir Malcolm says, so Bluebird goes back to Porchester for more trials.